The Easter holiday is full of many timeless traditions, such as dying Easter eggs, searching for those Easter eggs, the delightful Easter bunny, and of course, baskets overflowing with candy. However, amongst these traditions also come some iconic and enduring debates. Today, on the Six Foot Scrap, we examine one of the most contested and bitter Easter arguments known to divide even the closest of friends and family. Today, we talk peeps. <laughs> Sweet sassy molassy. No. I no no. They're foul. No. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, definitively not. No. I don't like peeps. I've never liked peeps. Um, I do not eat them. Yeah, I'm lukewarm on peeps. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I don't hate peeps. Let's put it this way. I will eat a peep if there is nothing else around and I want a sugary treat, but I immediately regret it. What, what shall I do with this now? Garbage can? Straight in the garbage can? I can't even, I'm not even tempted. <laughs> not even tempted. These things, which look disturbingly like foam, have absolutely no appeal to me at all. However, I know a few teachers that almost cannot resist them. I love peeps. I love peeps, especially when they are hard and you throw them in a cup of hot chocolate. Oh, I love peeps in all colors. I'm not as big on the flavor changes. Um, what else you want about peeps? Oh, I think I made a cake once and had peeps sitting on top of it, you know, as the decoration, because you do that with little kids. You're not gonna make me eat this, are you? This is, I'm sorry, this is sugar-free? I'm not eating it. <laughs> Who does that? That's, that shouldn't exist. Sugar-free peeps are not real. Peeps are something you do something to. They are wonderful for peep wars. Put them in the microwave and blow them up. So we would trash someone else's yard with peeps. So you put one on each side, put a toothpick, and as they blow up, the toothpicks, it looks like they're jousting. See, I guess I never really, th I never thought enough about the peep possibilities. I'm not even sure what marshmallow is. Whipped, whipped sugar or something coated with more sugar. Now I got nothing. I got nothing against sugar, but peeps, man, peeps are just unnatural. Black jelly beans, best Easter candy. These, you want it back? Yes. Shut up! You have, you have. Don't even put that near me. No, cannot stand black licorice. An absolutely disgusting no. This, it just looks like death. I would give it to an enemy. This is something that should be outlawed. Well, here's, here's where I get weird. Maybe this is because I'm old. I like licorice. Yeah, so I love black licorice. This is the Irish version. No, Australian licorice. <laughs> I like licorice. Licorice is good. Like, it looks like you're like licking the road. Do you not have taste buds? Is that why? You might as well just like, hey, you want some tar? Uh, yeah, but it is, maybe it's because I was a history teacher and I like old timey things. So licorice is an old timey candy. I like licorice. I don't, I don't like the taste, the smell either. I, no. Ah, oh, I'm eating it now. I don't, I don't go I don't. That licorice taste, right? Right? Another, I don't know. This is like a silver lining of today's, um, you know, sort of episode. These little forks, this is awesome. I think we should all eat with these little forks. I think, how civilized. This is something you do in France or, you know, uh, you know, maybe, like even beyond France, some like, like Luxembourg or some place that people don't, Andorra, you know, some place in Europe that's like super, super civilized.